I'm Johnny, and this is my North Beach. Oh, I'm glad you caught me when you did because I've been tugging on this Guantro since I started this recipe. Now I'm ready. This is one of my uh, favorite desserts. I learned this recipe from my friendee's mother, whose family uh, harkens from Puglia on the Adriatic in Italy. So let's see what we have for ingredients. So here's the rice, arborio rice. We're gonna cook that in milk that's flavored by lemon and vanilla seeds. The zest of, a, of orange. We're gonna put some orange liqueur, some egg yolks, and we're gonna lighten it up with some beaten egg whites. So we're gonna do maybe about a half a dozen piece of uh, lemon peel. Two, three, four, five, one more, seven. It's a lucky number. So I'm using uh, the seeds from inside this vanilla bean. So you just slit it open and then open it up and we're gonna just scrape out the seeds. That's what we're gonna put in to flavor the milk. And if you don't have any beans to get the seeds out of, you can always use maybe about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Four cups of milk. To that I'm gonna add the, uh, the sugar, my lemon peel, and then this gorgeous vanilla seeds. Just gonna stir this to make sure the uh, sugar melts into the milk. I think our milk is uh, hot enough. I can see some steam coming off it. If you look around the side of the bowl, I mean of the pan, you can see little bubbles forming. So that's what we want. So I'm gonna take my uh, arborio rice. In it goes. When I first put it in, I like to mix it up a little bit so that I make sure none's sticking. And this is going to probably take about 30, 40 minutes to fully cook. But you only have to come and stir it once in a while. So I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. I'm going to put the top on it. And we'll come back when the arborio rice is fully flavored and tender. So here's our arborio rice. It's still uh, intact, but it's very tender. I had to take it out after it was cooking 30, 40 minutes, and, we're and I put it in the bowl to let it cool. So now I got to pick out these uh, lemon peels. Our orange liqueur and the uh, beat up eggs. So we'll put this right in here. So we're going to put the zest of an orange to enhance that flavor. I'm going to lighten it up a little bit by uh, beating some egg whites to a stiff peak and gently fold this in because if you work this too much the air you just built up in here is going to come out i don't want to forget my raisins so i'm going to put those in it's about a handful so let's get the rest of it in about 12 strokes i should be able to get this all mixed i really buttered well this 10 inch uh a cake pan and then I floured it. Oh, look at that. Just level it out. That's all there is to it. We're going to stick this in the oven and let it bake for probably about uh, 50 minutes. I took it out of the oven. I let it cool for about really a half hour and you notice it puffs up and then it's going to settle down. So you can see just doing flour and butter around the side. Nothing stuck, but this is the moment of truth. Let me see if I can get it out of the pan. Nice and nice. Confectionery sugar, let that rain all around. I'm gonna take some more zest of orange. So let's take a look and see what we got here. I gotta have a bite of this. And I want a little bit of this uh, whipped cream too. Nice and light. Mm. It's moist. And the flavor of the orange, the vanilla bean. In case you don't like it, I got some more Cointreau. 